One thing I want to show you is when you first turn on your microcopter and you go into the microcopter tool, sometimes you may see this where it says the MAG3 is not compatible when you are uh, first installing the system. And what you need to do then is you need to upgrade it. And it's pretty much the same procedure for all of the devices. You do want to make sure that your Navi board is up to date before the MAG3. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go in here and you, you hit firmware upgrade terminal and you go into this. This is normal. You will see all this this running um, and this was connected to the mag board. So I'm going to go back because I need to be connected to the mag 3. So we say the mag 3. We say OK to that. Then we go to the firmware terminal Then you see up here where it says it's connected to the mag 3. At this point we're going to go ahead and do an update software. I'm going to point to where I have my software saved, which the software are these hex files, and these are the current, the latest and greatest. Um, so this MKMAG3 is the latest hex file. So I'm going to say open, and what's going to happen is we're going to see it start running through its through its checks, and it's uploading and verifying the data. And then you see the warning of the software permission warning. And that should be done. So then we can go back to debug. And where this comes through MAG3, it says the version. You see this in the background running, that's good. That means there's data coming from there. If you see the magnetic north and you see it swishing around, that's mainly because I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm sitting here in my office, and I've got lights around it. I've got um, all kinds of stuff causing this this effect, and it's not calibrated. Um, so to see this run crazy like this for the compass, it's kind of normal until you get it calibrated.